Hey, this is Jackie with Ascension Presents. And today we're gonna to talk about how do you know you've met the right person, the one that God has called you to marry. Well, love is a choice and so no and nobody's perfect. You should just marry whoever because love is a choice. There's no emotion. I'm just a robot. That's terrible advice, okay? God doesn't want us to be miserable. God wants us to be happy and he wants our marriages to bear the fruits of the spirit, the fruits of peace and joy and kindness. And you can't do that if you're miserable. I, I read a poster one time that said 90% of your happiness in life is determined by who you marry, okay? So we have brains. It's okay that we can discern um, if, if this is the right person for us, that you're choosing this one person above all else. It should be the right person. But there is another extreme, okay? The, the very Disney version of the right person is somebody who, oh, makes us feel this romance all the time and it's gonna be wonderful. Well, okay. Romance is great. Emotion is great, but that's like the raw material. That's just the beginning of love. All right, your, your love should become much more mature. Recently, a married couple who said in a statement that they were getting divorced, they were separating ways because they, they weren't feeling that spark anymore, that emotion, and now they were becoming much more like friends. And I was like, what? Like, that's a good thing. That's how, <laughs> that's a maturing of your relationship is you're becoming friends. Um, friendship is an absolutely necessary part of a marriage. And they thought that was bad because they just weren't as passionately in love as they used to be. I'm like, oh no. So there, there is a middle, okay? And the middle is this discernment. Here are five ways that you can know if God's calling you to marry this person. Okay, number one is you should experience peace and joy. These are fruits of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And um, God wants you to have peace and joy in your vocation, in your work. Um, he doesn't want you to have anxiety. If you feel that pit in your stomach, that's, that's a good sign that this is not the right person for you. Even if somebody is perfect on the page, like they, they have every single thing, but you have this pit in your stomach, um, that could be a, a reason that maybe they're called to marry someone else, maybe you're called to marry someone else. I mean, I had that pit in my stomach, and man, someone was, my ex-boyfriend was called to be a priest, and another one was called to marry one of my friends. God uses our emotions, emotions aren't bad, and he uses our emotions to help us discern. So when you have that peace, like, man, I feel at home in this relationship. It should feel home, like home. Like this was, it's easy. It's easy to be with this person. Not, not to say you don't ever fight or it's not hard work, but it, to be with this person is just, it feels like home. And they bring you joy. Um, you experience being childlike. They're not life sucking, but they're life giving. You should experience joy with this person. I had someone say to me like, Oh, well, Jackie, but what about people like St. Monica who was with a terrible husband? I'm like, listen, St. Monica was probably in an arranged marriage and she would probably be like, girl, do not, you know, we don't flirt to convert. You don't go into a marriage trying to convert somebody, okay? That's not love. So God wants you to experience peace and joy in your marriage because your marriage is called to bear fruit to the world. Together, you are called to bear fruit. Another way you know that this person is the right one is that you should be, this is friendship with romance. That as a friend, your best friend, this is a per person you wanna spend 24 seven with, okay? Um, not like your gal pal, but this is a person with whom you have a virtuous friendship. You have a common goal and your common goal is heaven. And obviously you should be romantically attracted to them, okay? You wanna make babies with them. So friendship with romance, I love that definition. I'm like, Bobby is my best friend. I can't wait till he gets home. I, I love being with him. And we're finally, it's like finally we're on the same page. I, I've met somebody who I can have intellectual conversations with. I don't have to drag them along in my faith. Like finally I've met someone who's on the same page as me spiritually. I, I remember thinking when I was single, Lord, I feel like I'm, you know, I, I could be a nun, but I'm not called to be one. I, I need somebody who could be a priest, but is not called to be one. <laughs> God's funny. You know, and so Bobby and I are on the same page spiritually and, and physically, emotionally, and intellectually. And so I knew that it was pretty easy just to know right away, like this is the person I'm called to marry. It's so easy being with them. Number three is similar. Um, you can, I, I feel like how do you know this person's the right one is that you can finally be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be somebody else. In other relationships, um, I, you know, guys would say like, oh, you're too goofy or silly or oh you're too religious you're too catholic and i'm like well sorry like that's who i am and with bobby it was like i finally felt like i didn't have to be somebody else i didn't have to put on a mask 
I could just be me and he could just be Bobby. And, and we loved being with each other. He loved me for me. I love him for him. And that was very easy to know, like, okay, this is the right person because I don't have to pretend to be somebody I'm not. Number four, how do you know that this is the right one? Well, I feel like with the person that you're with, you can actually argue with them in a healthy way. I realized going through marriage prep with Bobby that there are a lot of married couples that don't talk about tough things. They don't argue as engaged couples and dating couples because they're afraid that if they bring up tough subjects, that someone's gonna break up with them. So in the first year of marriage, they finally get to bring it up and people are miserable. <laughs> and I was like, how do you not talk about children? How do you not talk about finances? How do you not talk about um, kind of like chores and the roles like, I, you know, hey, I don't wanna be doing everything. Like we need to, you know, maybe you do dishes and I'll, and I'll you know, clean the house or whatever. I don't know how people don't talk about this, but then I realized, oh, it's because they're afraid of breaking up. So if you can argue in a healthy way, that's a good thing. And another thing I will say is with my ex-boyfriend, whenever I would get in an argument with them, it was always like, after the argument, it was like, ooh, I don't know if this is gonna work out. I don't know if they're the right person for me. And it was like a wah, wah. But with Bobby, after an argument, I actually loved him more. When we apologized and I realized like, I know more of his heart. I know more where he's coming from and the way that he treated me. You know, like I, I will say, if you are in a relationship where somebody is physically abusive, emotionally abusive, sexually abusive, like that's a red flag, get out, get out right now because it, it's good to argue in a healthy way, but we're not called to argue in a dysfunctional way. That's reality TV, okay? We're not called to have dysfunctional relationships, we're called to have healthy relationships and part of the healthy relationship is that you can argue well and you can argue like emotionally mature adults. So it's okay to argue, you're brought up differently, um, we have different expectations and arguing is just a way to help you get through those. But a sign that this is the right person for you is that afterwards you're like, man, I love this person even more now, this is good. And lastly, how do you know this person is the right one is, are they helping you get to heaven? And obviously this person should help you, they should challenge you to be holy, um, not in a dominating way, but they should be on your side. They should, they're running the race with you. They're encouraging you to finish this marathon of life um, that Man, when you're feeling depressed, they're helping you through these situations because life is tough. God doesn't promise that life is going to be easy. So the person you marry is, is, is on this journey with you, helping you to get to heaven. And also I will say a lot of times when we date someone, we don't think about the fact that this person also is going to help our children get to heaven. So my question to you is, um, if you died, would this person be able to get your children, help your children get to heaven? And if you can't say yes to that, then maybe you shouldn't marry this person. That's pretty important because um, people a lot of times don't think about the children part. They always think like, oh, do we get along? Do we have chemistry? You know, um, but your children, it's a, it is a huge part. This person is running the race with you and they're encouraging you. And when they're down, you're encouraging them. And when you're down, they're encouraging you. You guys are helping each other get back up and um, get to heaven. And they're going to help your kids get to heaven too. So these are just a few things to help you discern um, whether the person that you're with is the right person, the person that God is calling you to marry. And let me tell you, it's important because marriage, a Christian marriage, a sacramental marriage is, is called to bring fruit to the world, not apples and oranges, um, but the fruits of the spirit of self-control, modesty, chastity, peace, kindness, joy, goodness, generosity. When you see a holy marriage, a good marriage, a marriage where God has called these two people together, man, you can see those fruits. You're like, that is a marriage that bears the spirits of peace and joy. That's a marriage I want to be around. I want to be around those people. I pray for your discernment and uh, stay close to God and he will stay close to you and, and he will help you to know and give you that peace and joy when it is the right person. So God bless you. And from Ascension Presents, this is Jackie Angel and I will see you next time.